When the boiler's first switched on, this is the first screen that will appear for the installer. If he needs to change anything, he can click on to language, set the language to whatever he prefers, and press OK. Also, date and time can be set. So, date, just to scroll up or down to determine the date, and the same with time, up or down, just to show any changes. Once that's complete, press the back button. We can now either change the control unit from a weather compensated to a constant temperature control. We would change it to a constant temperature control if maybe a multi-boiler system was used. Building type would be picked for detached houses or apartment blocks. This would really only change our holiday program. If we stick to our detached house, then our holiday program would affect all our circuits. Whereas if we used the apartment block, our holiday program would change individual circuits. Scrolling down, we can now look at our filling and venting. Again, tapping on the screen, should filling be carried out? Yes, we've done that. Once it's done, confirm with OK. We can now look at our gas type. The password at this point is number nine. Press OK. And as you see, we can change to LPG or natural gas. Confirm with OK. And we can now scroll down further to our energy cockpit. This will give the customer more information about how much gas and energy they're using. More about that later. And our flu system, depending whether we're having a single connection or whether we're using a multiple flu system. Once we're happy with this, click next. Up comes some safety information. Click yes. Now, if we want to continue with our system configuration, we press yes again. Again, information, have we connected all our components and check the electrical connections. This would be if we'd fixed any mixers or attached any other types of controls. If we press yes, it will ask us to wait 10 seconds before we press the next button. Once we press the next button, we will now get a list of detected components. We can scroll through this list to ensure what we have connected is what's on the list. Once we've checked, we press next, it will now give us a system scheme. Here we can see we have the boiler, a low loss header, a constant A1 circuit and two mixed circuits. Click next. It will say we want to make any fine adjustments. At this stage, if we press yes, we can click on to the individual component, set our circuit type, whether it's for a underfloor, set the heating curve, Again, this can be changed with the up or down scroll. We can set the individual room temperatures for that circuit. We can set the reduced temperature. Confirming with OK. We can now scroll down and alter our time program. Press the back button scroll down, we can name our heating circuits, confirm with OK, scroll down, we can look at our minimum flow temperature and our maximum flow temperature, press the back button, we can also do this at a later date if required. Click next, we can now look at our results. On our results screen, we know that we've checked the language. We've checked the time and date. We're happy with the control unit. We've not had to change that. We've checked our building type. We've not filled and vented yet. And we have checked our gas type. Once that's complete, click the back button. And now we go back to our main menu.